Hello everyone, in this video I'll be covering if Astrobot is the game of the year for 2024. Now this game is incredible, it's got a variety of cameos, like we got Laura Croft there running from the dinosaur, we got ourselves Parappa the Rapper, we got Crash Bandicoot, we got Ape Escape here, we got Ratchet and Clank, and many many more. God of War has a huge setup here, which I think is incredible. We got The Last of Us, Metal Gear Solid, and uh, all these characters come with little interactive pieces that you can get for them, so a lot of cool things in this game. There's the Uncharted, where he's even playing a game himself, Dude Raider. Uh, I love this game. The Astrobot has been a very pleasant surprise. If you've played Astro's Playworld, which comes with the PlayStation 5, you'll know that they've really done a great job with the PlayStation 5 controller. And it's elevated to the next level in this game because it has really nice haptic feedback. So every little step that we're taking, you can feel it on the controller and you can hear it from the controller as well. And it also is really cool. Like if we got the controller here, you can see whatever I do on the controller happens in, in game. So it's really well done. I think that this game has far surpassed what I thought it could bring as far as a video game could play like. It reminds me a lot of Mario Galaxy. So we have our little galaxies here. So you unlock these as you go around, you collect a bunch of different Astrobots. And it's really well done. Like I'll just go into a world here just to show off what this looks like. So we got our own little worlds here. Each of them has like upwards of seven or eight different uh, bots that you can get. And then at the end you fight a boss, which is pretty fun. And they unlock a mainline character from one of Sony's previous games and then you go into another world where you play like this one here dude rating it's like uncharted whereas there's ones for the god of war world but I'll get into the game play here just to show you what the platforming looks like so each level is going to have its own little unique uh, gimmick for it so this one you turn into a sponge and you use the water from the bathhouse to um, to change the world around so Every time you play the game, you can use 200 coins to show off where all the Astrobots are. So it's great for completionists because if you're really struggling with a specific area, you can use that to make it a little bit easier on yourself. Now the physics in this game is what blows me away. Like you can see here, we can move around the water. The water physics are really well done. Uh, but even just like little particles and things like that you see in the world are Oh, just extreme, extreme physics. I haven't seen a game work physics this well in a very long time. So here's the power up for this area. We turn ourselves into a sponge. You just go into here and you can suck up all the water. And then we go around and you can use that to help change the environment. So every single level has something similar to this where you go around and um, whether it be <laughs> changing time, moving things around slower, sucking up water like there's a whole bunch of different variety of of different upgrades and things that you can do in the world so it's really cool i guess i'll go to another planet here just to give you guys another idea of what this looks like but it's a fun platformer i was very impressed with this game and i didn't expect it to be this fun honestly um it far surpassed all my expectations if you've ever played mario galaxy you'll know exactly what we're getting into here with this game because it just has a lot of the elements that make that game work well and they put it all together into this so i'll go to another place here the go go archipelago and uh the graphics in this game are incredible so you can move it around so a lot of tilt controls but you don't have to use the tilt controls while playing uh you can turn it off in the menu but uh i think as far as the tilt controls go they do a good job of making them not too annoying like this one is probably the most annoying here whenever we get the power up it's a monkey hand and it's fun it's not in a lot of levels which is good because i could see it becoming frustrating if uh I had to do it multiple times but uh we'll just break this open and i'll get the power up for this world so here it is, monkey hands, and uh, yeah, this would probably be the most frustrating, but it's fun. Like, you can, you tilt the controller to climb up, 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 <laughs> and uh, yeah, while this does feel a little funky, it's only a few levels that you have to do this, so there's a lot of different ones from having like a, these fists that you can punch things with to the monkey fist, slowing down time. Um, there's a ton of different upgrades that you can get, and it keeps the game feeling fresh, so that's what's really nice about this game is it's got a it's got some good combat too like whenever you're fighting things like i, I like the combat I, th I think they did a great job with it overall um 
boss fights are pretty fresh. The gameplay is nice. Great, great physics too. Like you can break apart this, and you can see there. It's like when you break when you break the ground, it falls down to the ground there, and it actually has real physics to it. So there we go. Broke that out. So yeah, you can see there the physics in this game are incredible. I got the Bloodborne outfit here, so. It's a fun game. I think that Astrobot could potentially be game of the year. Uh, my top three right now, they all came out pretty recently. It would be Black Myth, Wukong, uh, Astrobot, and Spa uh, Warhammer 40k Space Marine. All three of these games are really well done, but I do think that Astrobot was the one that surprised me the most in terms of how much fun I am having playing it. Well, it may not be the most complete game with the most features and stuff, I think they did a great job with everything in its presentation as well, so this game very well could win Game of the Year. Um, I'm not too sure. Like, personally, I feel like Black Myth Wukong might have a better shot at winning Game of the Year, but this year's still young. We still got a few more months to go, and uh, things like Dragon Age Veilguard are still coming out, so we'll have to see come December what will be Game of the Year, but... Astrobot makes a good makes a good run for it. So yeah, it could potentially be game of the year. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'm very impressed with this game. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button below and I'll see you all in the next video.